Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. I'm out here in the Alhambra area because I'm gonna be continuing on with my Asian food tour, discovering another great Chinese restaurant. And today I'm gonna be jumping into the wonderful world of Sichuan cuisine. Sichuan cuisine is pretty popular, especially here in LA. It's been increasing in popularity over the last few years. And I wanna show you what real Sichuan food looks like. So I'm at one of the best spots here in LA called Zhang La Hui, which uh, has gotten a lot of publicity. One of the highest rated Sichuan Chinese restaurants you'll find in LA. That is good enough for me. So if you guys wanna see what Sichuan food looks like, then stick all the way to the end of this episode so that I can show you this amazing overview of all this great Sichuan food that I'm about to try right now. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food videos weekly that you just don't wanna miss. All right, I got to this restaurant right over here. I'm gonna go in. Guess what? I have a special guest. If you've seen my show, especially in the last year, you remember Stephanie from the Dining Dolls. Say hello. Hi, Stephanie <laughs> from the Dining Dolls. All right, and she has a really great Instagram, uh, just covering all the best foods like in LA and even like other parts of the US as well. So if you guys want to check her out, you definitely need to check out the link in the video description so that you can learn all about the Dining Dolls and please follow them. So are you excited to be here today? I am so, so excited. Szechuan food is one of my favorite foods. I crave the spice. I love it. I want it. I need it. I can't wait to try it today. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is so amazing because you know, Stephanie, I got to tell you, like even me growing up like half Chinese, I've had like some version of Szechuan food before, but I don't, I can't say that I honestly really had like the hardcore Chinese version of Sichuan food. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this is actually gonna be a pretty new experience for me today. Oh wow, okay, yeah. I mean, I've, I've recently started to experience it in the past few years, and I just really fell in love with the numbing Sichuan spice. And then, you know, since discovering it, I've been going out of my way to to go you know go to the restaurants to cook it at home to just experience it in, in all the ways that i possibly can oh man and you know let me tell you if you guys are not familiar with a uh, sichuan cuisine it's really not like the stuff from panda express this is like really like from china here at this restaurant Zhang la hui is one of the highest rated uh, Sichuan restaurants and it's actually fairly new too. It opened about almost like under two years ago, but it's already gotten a lot of raves like LA Eater's been here as well. And I think LA Times has been here as well. So obviously we needed to check this place out. Sounds good to you, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so, so excited. I'm drooling oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Okay. Uh, where should we begin first? I'm digging in the toothpick lamp. Look at this. It's so perfect. It, they, they provide you with the toothpick, the perfect vessel. You don't even need chopsticks or anything. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, so tender and spicy. Um, mm -hmm. But really flavorful. Mmm. It has cumin and you, you get a little bit of that Szechuan taste mm -hmm. already. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's wonderful. Yeah. So here we have the Dan Dan noodles. Another one of my favorite Szechuan dishes. These noodles are so saucy. They're full of ground pork, there's some bok choy, there's definitely some chili oil, and lots of Szechuan peppercorns. Ooh. Maybe even some Szechuan peppercorn oil. This looks insane. Oh. Let's dig in. Let's do it. Okay. Mm. Wow, it's so flavorful. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. taste the numbing spice almost instantly, right? I do actually. It's so good. This is why this is one of my favorite dishes because it's so, so flavorful and, then, and the, the numbing spice is just front and center and everything else kind of accentuates it and it's really well balanced too, right? Oh yeah. I have a feeling that yeah, numbing sensation, whew, I'm probably going to feel that more as the meal progresses mm. on. Wow, look at this, Stephanie. So this one is one of their house specialties. So this one's called the boiled, the spicy boiled beef, I believe. Yes. And uh, so they said that there was about like, what, 20, 30 different ingredients and spices in here? It, yeah, it looks it. I mean, it, this looks absolutely incredible. Mmm. Mmm. 
There's a little bit of sweetness in here mm -hmm. that's different from the other dishes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not as spicy as I thought. When I looked at yeah. it, I saw all this like red chili right. oil. I was like, whoa. But, it's not as spicy, mm. but it's just as flavorful yeah. with different mm -hmm. kind of flavors and textures going on. Absolutely. And the beef is also pretty tender too. It's like... It's um, really tender. Yeah. It's, it's like that beef that you use in, uh, mm. you know, like Mongolian beef kind of, you know, like that mm. texture. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like soft all around like the slices. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So is that yeah. it? Just the beef and the... Is there anything else in there? Or oh, bean there, sprouts? There's some bean sprouts in there, mm. which almost look like noodles. I was saving this for the mapu tofu, but mm. forget it. <laughs> forget it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that has a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now we are moving on to the mapu tofu. And you know, this mapu tofu is actually very common in a lot of Chinese restaurants, as you know, because yes. Sichuan restaurants make it, Cantonese restaurants make it as well. Now, who makes the best version? That's up for debate, but mm -hmm. Sichuan, definitely, it's, you know, this is one of the foods you need to eat at a Sichuan restaurant. You've had this before, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. I love the texture of it. The texture is, is, is the most pronounced thing about the dish, mm -hmm. right? And obviously the flavorful sauce too, so. I could just smell it. When it first came to the table, you just smell all those aromatics and those spices. Mm. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's very simple guys. Mapu tofu, you need the rice, so you just take it, like scoop it out and put it on the steamed rice. And that's how it's best enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, okay. So it's not terribly spicy. That's a good thing to me. <laughs> no, but that's really why I think Szechuan is my favorite spice because yeah. it's not definitely spicy. Mm -hmm. Like. It's just a kind of addicting, numbing, kind of numbs your palate, but keeps you coming back for more and more and more. That addictive kind of spice. But it's not going to burn your palate either. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely makes it tingly, mm -hmm. like your tongue. But it's like a, it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Oh, it's yeah. fun. It's so much fun to eat. So this is the fried chicken, right? It looks super, super crispy. Look at that. Mm. So crispy. Yeah, absolutely. So these are kind of like chicken nuggets almost, right? Uh, yeah, essentially. All right, you see that, guys? The, the uh, I think this is like the Chongqing chicken or, uh, yeah, Chongqing fried chicken, which is one of the popular things you should order like in Sichuan restaurants as well. Well, let's yeah. try it. Wow, it's so crispy. It's been sitting there for some time now. Wow, I'm really impressed. Mm -hmm. Because obviously it retained the crispiness, but the, the coating also feel, tastes like it's fried chicken skin. Mm. Like it tastes like I'm eating fried chicken skin almost, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's why it's so flavorful. Mm. It's, re it's really good. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed by this. Okay, so this one is something that you can find in a lot of Chinese restaurants. So I wouldn't say this is something that's like really like something that's hard to find. You can find it in Cantonese restaurants, Sichuan restaurants, but how do you like this one? Oh, I love them. Really? I, mean, I just love them anywhere. I feel like this is just a side dish mm -hmm. that is always a hit. Mm. It's always good. It's like french fries, right? Oh yeah. Can't go wrong. Mm. And add like some, a, hmm? Add some greens to your diet. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, to tell you the truth. Really? Yeah, like with this fish that's like boiling with not just the soup base, but also all these vegetables that's kind of like all around, just kind of like garnishments. But yeah. of course they're edible. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so this is like a catfish they're using in here. That, I, yeah. You know, you guys probably can't tell, but we would lift it up for you guys in front of the camera, but it's hot because right underneath, it's, it's boiling. There's like fire underneath. It's fueling this whole thing. That's why yeah. it's boiling. <laughs> okay, what should we go with first? Oh, we already got the potato. I gotta try the fish. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, oh. Oh, yeah, it's so tender. Oh, okay, oh. Look at that. Okay. And by the way, there are bones in here too, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, that's really good. Oh, yeah. So it looks like it was fried first because I see a coating on there. Yes. Oh, man. It's look. your turn. Here we go. I'm gonna try. Big piece of meat now. <coughs> it's so tender, right? It's so flavorful, the sauce. Absolutely, and so you can flavorful. tell, just like Stephanie said, it's been deep fried, kind of, because you can tell a little bit, you know, that crispiness that used to be there. Yeah. Mm. And so you guys, if you get this, there's no shortage of things to eat it within this big boiling pot, because you got the fish, mm. which is absolutely phenomenal. 
Oh. And of course, you got the tofu and the vegetables and like the lotus root and everything like that. So this is like a, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like, it kind of reminds me of like a hot pot in some ways. Mm, yeah. You know how, because there's like so much stuff in there, but then the sauce I think is of course a little bit different. Mm, you're right. Yeah. Like a nice big hot pot. It literally has everything in there. Like mm -hmm. you can just order this and probably feed like three to four people. For Absolutely. Sure. As you guys can tell, the food is so different in so many ways, like the things that we ordered all around. But of course, at the end of the day, there is one winner. And I know this is very hard. So uh, we're going to tell you which one we thought was like the best one out of all of them. But uh, before I give my take on it, uh, what did you feel was your favorite or you think was the uh, best one out of all of them? It, it's so hard because as we were eating them, I was so excited about each and every dish. Every dish was so different and special and flavorful and spicy and um, just unique in its own way. So it was actually a really hard decision. But for me, I, I just think uh -huh. the most comforting um, were the Dan Dan noodles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I just love, love that sauce. It's so saucy and the noodles are just, it has the perfect chew and has that you know, ground pork in there that's so flavorful and then the, the Szechuan peppercorns just like hit you right away with it and mm -hmm. it just continues on and um, it definitely just made the, my palate so happy and it just made me so happy. It's like the ultimate comfort food, Dan Dan noodles, yes, done. Everything else was fantastic too. Oh wow, yeah, so like I said, it was also pretty hard for me to to narrow it down, but I think I would probably say I was the most surprised by the Kung Fu boiled beef. Mm, yeah, that, that one, one I know it was so good, right? So good. Yeah, it's like, you know, that one, I just didn't expect it was going to taste as nice as it did. I mean, I, mean, I also like the fried chicken as well, but yeah. that Kung Fu boiled beef, uh, it was recommended by the owner. So if you come here, you definitely need to get that. And of course the uh, Dan Dan noodles, but everything here was pretty good, right? Really good, yeah. Awesome. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. You know, I'm always so appreciative you guys are supporting and enjoying this episode. And once again, uh, check out Stephanie at the Dining Dolls. And uh, she has a really awesome Instagram covering so many great foods all across LA. So the link is going to be in the video description, The Dining Dolls. So click on that and follow The Dining Dolls. And um, Give me a like on this video if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also comment if there's any dishes that you liked here that you'd like to just, you know, if you've had it before, let us hear your story. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And have a blast.